Hello there and welcome. Today I'm going to be teaching you about the properties of materials. Now you may be asking me, what are properties of materials? So properties are things that determine the usefulness and the effectiveness of certain materials. These includes things such as hardness, appearance and many other factors. First, let's take an example of a glass. Now, a glass is made of a solid material. Just imagine if a glass was made of cloth. Then the water would seep through the cloth and then the glass wouldn't work at all. That's why it's important we know the properties of the materials we use to make certain items. Now, let's look at another item. This is a sword. A sword needs to be hard, sharp and durable. So for these purposes, we cannot use materials such as cloth or plastic or rubber. We need something strong. And that's why swords are made of metal as metal is hard and can withstand lots of force. So, based on the previous two examples, we have learned that we need to learn the properties of materials so that we can determine the best, useful and most effective way to use these materials in our daily lives. Now, the learning of properties of materials is very important because if we use the wrong material for the wrong purpose, it could have detrimental impacts to the way we use these objects. Now, let's look at the list of properties a material could have. So firstly, there is appearance, the way it looks. Now, this book is made of yellow paper. So that means it is yellow and it is used to cover this book to give it a shiny appearance. Next, there is hardness. The hardness of materials is also very important as if you wanted to make a table, you would need the wood to be hard. But if you wanted to make a pillow, it would need to be soft. Next is the solubility. Solubility meaning how the objects dissolve in water. So it could be solubility is important for medicine and other things. And sometimes objects need to be insoluble so that they can be used as decoration such as pebbles in a fish tank. Next, we need to know whether objects float or sink in water. So this, so there are two applications we can think for this. For an object to be useful, like an anchor, it needs to be able to sink in the water. But for a ship, it is important that the material we use can float. Next is the transparency of a material. Transparency is important because we use these to make windows. So the material we choose to make the window is very important. So let's revise. We need to learn properties so that we can use materials in the most effective way and the way they're meant to be used. And what are properties? Properties are things that determine how useful and in what condition a material can be useful. So that's it for now. You will learn about the different properties in a later video. Thank you.